friends, my name is Julie Fior. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, with this video, I'm starting a big project on my YouTube channel about uh, history of fashion. This idea uh, was with me for a long time, and the main goal uh, is to show you difference between uh, decades and uh, different styles in one decade. Uh, I will uh, share with you a little historical facts and also uh, show um, iconic looks uh, uh, on me. <laughs> so um, I haven't a goal to do historical reproduction. Uh, I will do my best to show you iconic looks uh, uh, for different styles, but I want to show you how you can dress in retro way um, with clothes that you have in your closet and that uh, you have you can buy in uh, modern shops too. I hope that with my videos you can better know the history of fashion and will choose uh, styles for yourself uh, that you like more and uh, in uh, what styles you want to um, dress maybe. I wanted to start from 50s and uh, famous Dior's new look. And many of you know this collection and these shapes. If no, you definitely saw them in different modern variations. Uh, so we can say that Dior is like a grandfather for a lot of modern clothes. We will start uh, with a little history uh, and after that I will show you a new look collection in spirit looks um, on me from clothes that I have. In February uh, 1947 Christian Dior introduced the first uh, postwar collection that uh, he called Caroline Line but soon dubbed the new look uh, by American journalist in Life magazine. Dior presented an image of radical femininity achieved by tight fighting jackets with padded hips, padded waist and aligned skirts. If Dior's skirts and dresses were not full, they were nearly skin tight. Dior says, in December 1946, as a result of the war and uniforms, women still looked and dressed like Amazons. But I designed clothes for flower-like women with rounded shoulders, full feminine busts and handspan waist above enormous spreading skirts. To say that the new look cost a steer would be an understatement. The reason was simple. After the war, women longed for frivolity in dress due to psychological desire to distance themselves from the austerity and pragmatism of wartime garments and civilian uniforms. But not everybody was thrilled by the hip padding, draperies, plates, embellishments and other exaggerations proposed by Dior. Those were, in fact, regressive ideas, and many criticized Dior righteously for talking away women's newly attained independence by lacing them up in corsets and making them wear long skirts again. So let's see the looks that I prepared for you. The first my look I tried to do like the iconic bar suit. The most important are the basic style lines. I took jacket and make accent on the waist with the belt. Skirt a swing and uh, with petticoat under. Shoes with little heels. As accessories vintage gloves and original 50s bag. Also, you can add some pain matching your look. I did this one by myself. Seamed stockings will complete your look perfectly. The second look is another iconic silhouette with tight skirt. 
jacket and again the belt to make waist more thinner, plus pencil skirt. Also you can add this gloves and matching bag. For this look I choose this strip shoes. Oh my! Just look at this princess dress. I think Dior would like this dress. <laughs> add this dress for special occasions I add high gloves. And if I will add the head, I think it really looks like DR lines. Look number 4. I think it's most lovely look. It's simple but very beautiful. White blouse plus full circle skirt, of course petticoat, belt and matching shoes. You can do this look more retro with accessories. Gloves, hat and little bag. My gloves and bag are vintage from 50s. A romantic look. Swing dress in pink flowers. As accessories I added pearl necklace and pearl earrings. Uh, because they mention for all my looks, so it's like universal accessories. I choose white belt, cream tea strap shoes and white vintage gloves from 50s. The back yellow gold color that matching my shoes details. Also you can add flowers in your hair, especially if you have well-earned hairstyle. And the last look is red perfection, totally red look, and the red petticoat too. You also can do this look more retro with gloves and you can add flowers in your hairstyle. About petticoats, I think the basic color is white, so for first time you can buy only it and it will be enough. So I'm very excited with this first video and waiting you like and comments. Uh, do like this idea uh, and write me which look uh, you like the most. Send you a lot of kisses. Bye bye.